happy friends, are you ready to learn? I'm Sarah and today we're going to learn about volcanoes and geysers. Not that long ago, I was able to see a real life geyser. It was amazing, look. They are so amazing, aren't they? So, they are formed because under the ground we walk on, there's magma, which is composed of melted rocks and minerals. They are so hot. When groundwater meets magma, it's heated very quickly, and this groundwater then turns into water vapour. The water vapour is shot up at a great speed from the ground. And now, we're going to have a look at volcanoes. Volcanoes are cone-shaped mountains and today, we're going to look at the different parts that we can see inside one. First, we have the crater, which is the hole through which magma escapes through the surface. Then we have the volcanic cone. This is formed when lava accumulates around the crater. Here we can see the magma chamber. This is where magma is kept before the volcano erupts and magma rises to the surface. And finally, the main vent. This is the pipe that connects the magma chamber with the crater. And this is where the magma actually travels through when the volcano erupts. Did you know that there are volcanoes under the sea? Yes, exactly. And when they erupt, they create new landforms because the magma solidifies, like these islands, look! By the way, did you know that the people who study volcanoes are called volcanologists? And with their tools and knowledge, they are able to know when the volcano is going to erupt. This way, they can help the people in the volcano's surroundings so they can leave before the volcano erupts. And before I say goodbye, did you know what the difference between magma and lava is? Well, it's easy peasy. When the volcano erupts and magma rises into the surface, then we change its name into lava. It's easy peasy. Goodbye, happy friends. I hope you're always ready to learn. See you next time. Goodbye. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.